Yeah. <laughs> What up guys and welcome back to another one. Today we have a little three man field hunt. That's right, it's gonna be me, Wade, and Brad. And we're gonna sit uh, probably, uh, what are we gonna do? 20 dozen Canada Cillos and probably 20 dozen Canada socks. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be laying in the decoys yet, but I know there's only gonna be three of us, so we're gonna make it a simple spread as possible. We got rain last night, a big, big, big storm system. Thunderstorm, massive, massive rolled through last night, but luckily, we were far enough west that we didn't get a lot of rain. So, the field is good. I just actually had to go check the field. I got the quad loaded up, as you can hear it, and we're ready to go. But before we get on the road, I need to tell you 10 Days of Christmas is still here and today is one of my favorites. It's the Boss Lanyard for 25% off. This is the one that's real stretchy, it's real comfortable, and it's the one that I've been using all season. I told you guys this is gonna be my favorite and sure enough it is. But it is 25% off today and today only for the Ducks 10 Days of Christmas. I will link this bad boy down in the description below. Go check them out and pick you one up if you've been wanting to save some money on one. But looks like the boys are pulling up. I need to uh, get some final things loaded here. Make sure I got everything. Let's get on the road, shall we? Well, you can barely see me. We got the uh, old spread set. We did nothing but cellos and dark socks, all dark. So we're laying in them, there's only three of us. See how this goes. There ought to be a lot of ducks flying. It's extra cloudy, so the visibility is very low, especially with the old GoPro. But it's shooting light, and uh, we sure don't look like it. The old socks look good. They're bouncing pretty decent. Look at that. That wind picks up. They look real good. Brad, I can't even see you, man. Where'd you go? Gone. You're gone. Yeah. On the left side, left You're side, right. Brad. Take him! Yeah, uh, yeah, he's going down. The boys got out, got down too. I was obviously filming with the camera. Uh, those just gave it up on the on the left side here. I mean, got down hard and just came right over the top. That was some close shooting. Brad said that was almost too close. Probably. Thank you. Oh, that big. Good job. Well, down to both boys. Heck yeah, them honkers came rolling in. Woo! That was awesome. Dude, they just came rolling in. Uh, yeah, so two big old honkers. Those are some big daddies right there. Rolled in right into the kill hole. I mean, perfect. Once they seen that spread, they were locked. There was no ifs, ands, or buts. It didn't matter if we called or not. They were hooked, lined, and sinkered. <laughs> nope, they didn't want to. Oh, ducks, get down, get down. Oh, shit, get ready. Yep, yep. We'll just shoot them at the. Ooh, work them. took uh, some some cellos from over yonder and spread them out big this way uh, sorry if there's water on the camera but it hasn't stopped sprinkling on us so what are you doing there gomer and like i always say guys if you got an idea always just try it go ahead try it don't feel scared don't feel like you're gonna mess it up if it ain't working you can't mess it up any more than than it is already so you got an idea do it to it come on we're not even going to call here, see if it, they're just comfortable without any noise. Probably not. They are coming willingly. Ooh, they are on the deck, boys. Holy smokes. Keep coming. The weather's picking up here. I'm sure you can hear the rain. Yep. There's the flare. <laughs> see ya. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh my. Whoa. <laughs> Lot of white in there, but ain't even worth calling. They can't hear anything. Oh man, it is raining. Man, nothing is like in this situation. Oh man, so this is Caddy Corner from us. Tons of snows just filled that entire field. They're starting to trickle off here. Some darks and ducks. Like real real though? Oh, they like it. Yeah, buddy. Come on now. They don't want to come over it though. You got one! That was one heck of a shot! <laughs> wow! Well, Holy! Let's shoot him. Shoot him. Come back over. But we switched up the spread twice. I think ultimately what we found works is we loosened up all these socks and silos and just made them just spread them out make them big make the spread a lot bigger wider and it's ten, it really really seemed to work uh, we've had two goes here a couple uh, pairs and single but uh, it actually turned up a little bit so these birds are gonna bounce around they're gonna be in the field a lot today because of the the cold weather and wet conditions so hopefully we'll get some tricklers coming in <laughs> Smoked! There we go. We needed that. Woo! We needed that. It's been a while, boys. Good lordy. We peeled one off of the group. One. One! out of the three not bad at all now we're we're finally getting somewhere though finally my shells are soaked my gun is soaked she is gonna need an oiling when we get home boys I thought that they were going down. Yeah, I did too. What happened there? Goodness. Here. How didn't they go down? Really? What the? <laughs> nope. Oh, well, it's 10 o'clock. We are all soggy bottoms. McGee's out here. Literally just soggy. It, it rained on us all morning. It's, it stopped raining maybe 45 minutes ago. But uh, all my... All my clothes are all soaked through. Feeling pretty wet to the bone here, but I want to show you the spread before we pick it up and what we changed here and how it worked a little bit, I guess. This is where we are. We did have all the socks and sillas really tight in this whole area, and we only had the line come out to about here. What we did was we pulled a lot of decoys out, we put some over to the right, but then we really built this line out here going south. The wind is a northwest wind, so it's this way, and the birds want to come right up in here like this. Boom! A couple of the birds actually did it really good. So the ones that did it, did it really, really well. I don't know how we missed those last two, but I, we, me and Wade both pulled trigger and I was like, oh, they're going down. I waited to pull the trigger again, still didn't go down. So we're going to get to uh, picking up here. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> I, I, I don't know either. We suck again. Well, we are back at the truck. Kill that bad girl. Check out the little pile we got. Well, not the greatest hunt in the world. We got eight, seven uh, Canadas and one Greenhead. Not the uh, most shoot 'em up hunt in the world. Uh, it was a struggle fest. It was brutal. Uh, but I'm going to finish cleaning this all up. I got to unhook the trailer there, hook it here, and I will talk to you guys right when we get back home. I'll give some explanations and my thoughts of what did work and what didn't work. Oh, well, I am home. Just clean the old gun up because she was soaking wet, full of mud, full of just water in general. I mean, that thing, I can guarantee if I wouldn't have torn it apart right now and cleaned it and oiled the crap out of it, it would have been rusted by tomorrow. But there were thousands upon thousands upon thousands of birds that came over. I mean, you guys seen the footage when the roost lifted and they all came over. My explanation and my theory is, is this is probably the third field hunt that I've done in this same area. And our area right here holds a ton of snows. I mean, a ton of snows. And with a ton of snows, means a lot of adult snows and a lot of smart 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 birds and when there's that big of a concentration of snow geese in one area everything else is just going to follow it so if there's a feed across the street or even in the quarter next to you in the same section good luck everything else is going to follow that white blob wherever it goes and the ones that did it today they wanted it but they were singles and doubles and triples no big groups would do it on us. They all wanted to go where all the white birds were. So we did. We got a couple good uh, pairs, and they did it awesome in the decoys. The ducks did it great in the decoys, but we were not able to intrigue any big groups whatsoever because of, I'm pretty sure, just the amount of snow geese in our area. They pull so much attention their way that you cannot tend with these spreads. I might be wrong and I might just suck. Who knows? But what I do know is, like I said earlier, this bad boy right here, the old boss lanyard, look at that. It's a square gig and it stretches and it is comfortable and it's nice. It comes with five drops on it so you can put five calls on this bad boy. Even got a little band that says ducks on it. Pretty cool lanyards though. If you haven't picked one up today, this one in general is 25% off. I'll link it in the description below. Go pick you one up if you want to save some money on one. Oh, but I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank all my new subscribers that are here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your views, for all your thumbs ups, for all your comments down below telling me what I did or didn't do right and telling me, you know, just giving me tips, giving me your two cents on the video. Any comment that you guys have about this video, questions about this video, about this hunt, put them down in the comments down below. Thank you all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.